Hi, welcome to the Boomers Tech Show. I'm Bertrand. Now, I've developed this show to help boomers to learn how to use technology to make their lives a little simpler. Now, throughout the course of the video series that I'm going to present, I'm going to make sure that I slow it down so that you can truly understand how to use technology and how to make your life just a little easier. Now, the first video that we're going to consider today is going to deal with the iPad. And I'm going to show you how to use the basic settings by setting up your iPad customized for you. So, get you a cup of coffee or some wine and let's look at how to use the iPad by setting it up. So we're going to go over some basic settings for your iPad. The first thing we're going to look at is how to set up your Wi-Fi. Now your Wi-Fi is important because that allows you to be able to go on the internet, to do shopping, to answer messages, or even send email. You'll notice at the top here, you have that symbol next to the airplane. That's the Wi-Fi symbol. When you see it shown like that, that means that your Wi-Fi is connected. So to get to the Wi-Fi settings, you go to settings and then you tap Wi-Fi. I will tap on Wi-Fi. Now you'll notice that it is showing you all of the networks or Wi-Fi connections that, that's located in your area. So what you would do is you would select the one that's specifically for your Wi-Fi here. So if my Wi-Fi was S-Train, I would tap it and then I would tap in my password. And then I would tap join. So now you see it's showing as connected. Now if I wanted to disconnect the Wi-Fi, then I will simply tap this and it's off. If I wanted to choose another Wi-Fi connection, I will simply tap it. So if you ever have any Wi-Fi problems, this is where you go to fix your Wi-Fi. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up the control center. So what is the control center? Well, the control center is the place where you go that you can quickly get to certain applications. For example, on the control center, this is where you can get to your airplane mode. Uh, this is where you can get to your Wi-Fi. This is where you can get to your Bluetooth or even uh, to turn your screen up brightness, to turn the brightness up or down or to turn the volume up or down. And then you have other things that you can add additionally. For example, something to increase your text size or stopwatch or magnifying glass or the camera or even to record. So the control center is very important because it controls your iPad. It has all of the different quick shortcuts to get to various things on your iPad. So to set up the control center, you tap on your settings. You scroll down to where it says control center and you tap it. Now here you can decide how you want your control center to set up. In your control center, these are the controls that are included. You have a silent mode, a timer, a camera, screen recording. Now, if you wanted to add other things to your control center, say for example, you wanted to add a magnifier, then you tap the plus sign. Now magnifier will be added to your control center. See that? So now let's go back. Say if you wanted to add a stopwatch or you want to add a place to make your text size larger, then you tap this. So now when you go to your control center, you see 
The stopwatch is there and the text symbol is there as well. Now also, if you wanted to rearrange the applications on your control center, you simply go to the right, you drag it up, and now it's going to be reordered. So as we go back to the control center, you see how it's reordered there. Now, if you wanted to delete something from your control center, say for example, you don't want the silent mode to be there, then you tap this, and then you tap that to remove it. Now, when you go to the control center, you see it has been deleted. Now we're going to look at how to set up your dock. This is called your dock. And it's called the dock because this is where you dock your applications. So here's where you want to put your favorite applications, the ones that you use the most. So now we're going to talk about the dock. Now the dock is where all of your, your apps can be located at. So if you want to get to an application quickly, this will be on at all times, no matter what screen you're on, the dock will be present. So to add an app to your dock, to add your favorite to your dock, you simply drag it and you drop it. Now it's added to your dock. Now you'll be able to quickly get to that application quickly. Now, if you wanted to remove something from your dock, say for example, you don't use Yahoo Sports, touch it and hold it, and then you tap remove app. Now, you can either delete the app or you can remove it from your home screen. So you tap remove. When you do that, it's just going to be removed from the home screen and off your dock. It's still going to be on your, your iPad. Quickly get to various applications on your iPad. Now to add a widget, you simply touch the screen and hold it. And then you see in the top left-hand corner here, you see the plus sign, so you tap the plus sign. Now, you have different widgets that you can add to the screen. You have the suggestions, which are, are, are the ones here that it basically suggests for you. You have smart stack. Now, smart stacks, what they do is they automatically uh, rotate the widget and show the most relevant information throughout the day for you based on your activities. And then of course you have the app store and various ones that you can use. So say for example, we wanted to add a calendar widget. We tap the calendar. You can scroll through by sliding your finger across and it'll show you the different styles of calendar widgets that you can add. So you can pick the one that you want to add. For this one, I will pick this one. So you tap it and then you hold it and you drop it. And then you tap the screen again. So now you have added a widget. Now, if you wanted to make this a smart widget or a stackable widget, you simply grab the widget and you put it over one that's the same size. and you drop it. Now, and you hit done. Now, you see, they are combined. It's stackable. To delete a widget, you simply tap it, and then you tap remove widget and then you tap remove. Now widgets are very important because they really make your screen a whole lot easier to navigate. 
Now you also have your favorite widgets that are hidden, but in order to get to your favorite widgets, you drag from the left to the right and you'll notice these are your favorites. Now, you can customize this to your liking. First of all, if you wanted to delete a widget, you tap on it and then you tap remove widget, the minus sign and it's removed. Now, if you wanted to add a widget, you go down to edit. Then you go to customize. And then you tap the widget that you want to add. And you hit done. Now you see that widget, those widgets are added. Apple is always making the iPad better. So you always want to make sure that you're updated with the latest software. And in order to do that, you go to settings, you tap general, and then you tap software update, and then you tap automatic updates, you tap on, and then you tap download iPad OS updates, you tap to turn it on, and you also tap install iPad OS updates, you tap that. Now your device will constantly be updated when the new updates come out. So this has been a brief video showing you how to use your basic settings on the iPad device. Now, if you found value in this video, I encourage you to please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, share, and comment. In the comment section, let me know what type of videos do you want me to produce. Either Android or Apple or iOS, it doesn't matter. Uh, we will cover them all on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.